Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel, PC Monkey, where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer do-it-yourself upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the bottom case and get inside of a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 laptop computer. This way you'll be able to access your battery if you need to replace it, your Wi-Fi card, your CMOS battery, your motherboard, or your solid state drive if you want to upgrade or access any of these components. Here I have my Lenovo IdeaPad. The exact model of this computer is listed as a 15IAU7, but this should work with all IdeaPad 3 models. Um, first thing I'm going to do is shut it off, make sure that power is out, unplug the charger, flip it over, and I'll show you how to get inside. Okay, so first thing to do, we'll flip over our laptop. We'll make sure that it's completely turned off. Also, if you notice, my laptop is sitting on top of an anti-static pad. Um, you're going to want either an anti-static pad or an anti-static bracelet uh, to protect the computer and its components from any sort of damage. In addition to the anti-static gear, you guys are going to want a small screwdriver as well as a plastic pry tool. If you guys need help with any sort of equipment or tools like this, check out the link above. It'll be a link to my Amazon store with some suggestions on equipment and tools you may need. So now I'm going to take my screwdriver. As you can see, there are four screws along the bottom, two on each side, three along the top, and one in the middle. I'm going to go across and take those out now. Now one quick note when you're taking screws out, make sure you keep the same size screws together. As you notice here, I had a large screw, a long one, and then a short one. The short ones went across the front, the long ones went everywhere else. So make sure you know which screws go where. Sometimes I even put them on a sticky note and I'll write down where the screws went. So I know I'm, I'm not gonna put the long screw into a small screw hole. If you do that, you can damage panels. You may even damage electrical components. Now that I have all my screws out, I'm gonna take a small flat metal pry tool. I'm gonna go along the seam of the bottom case and the palm rest and gently pry this off. Be careful not to put it in too far. Uh, you don't want to damage any components in there. Okay, so I think I have it all up. I'm just gonna gently pull on it. And there comes up your bottom case. So there's the inside of your computer. You have your battery that runs along the bottom. Uh, this one, if you're looking to replace it, is a Lenovo. Uh, the model number is L20C3PF0. And it's got screws here, 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 there, there. Uh, quite a lot of screws holding in your battery. Let me zoom in a little bit to show you the rest. This is your fan assembly connected to your heatsink assembly that runs along here to your CPU. The CPU is integrated into the motherboard. It's soldered on, which means it's not an easy component to take off and replace. There's your CMOS battery. It's plugged into the port there. So if you were accessing your CMOS battery in this computer, uh, either to replace it or to do a manual BIOS reset, if you wanted to manually BIOS reset, you would simply unplug it from that port, let it sit for a while, then plug it back in. To remove it, it's just held on by double-sided tape. You would just pop it up. This is your Wi-Fi card. It's connected by an antenna wires that run around your fan, up to the hinge, up to the LCD cable, and then to your LCD. This is one of your USB boards there that's connected by this cable to your motherboard. And then over here, you have your solid-state drive. So this is not a hard drive in this computer, it's a solid state drive, very small, very easy to replace. You would just unscrew it there, pull it out of that port to replace it. The RAM in this computer, as you notice, is also nowhere to be seen. It's, it's also integrated into the motherboard. Just like the CPU, it cannot be easily removed or replaced. And then to put the bottom case back on, you'd simply set it in place and you'd push to snap it in all the way around. And then you replace all of your screws. Remember, the smaller screws go in the bottom holes, the longer screws go in the top and the sides. Okay, so nice simple video. It wasn't too complicated getting in there, just those screws, the bottom case came right off. 
and you could access all those components. So if you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. I do try to update those as time goes on. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you don't see your question there, feel free to leave it. I do try to get back to questions at least a couple times a day. As always, feel free to like and share if this was helpful. And if you enjoy computer do-it-yourself tutorials, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.